Jones. Welcome to the Bob and Tam show today. Welcome to our show. <laughs> she still ain't figured out her I line yet. I don't like that. <laughs> So what we're going to do today is a lot of you have been asking about the biker bar, what we think about it, how it works, all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to step right now over to the Rick Rack tent and we're going to have Shane explain what he's got and uh, what he has and then we're going to show you a little bit about what we have and we'll come up at the end and we'll finalize it all. It's all the same thing. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and think about Patreon. Hey guys, this is Shane with RickRack.com. We're going to show you a unique and perfect way to strap down your motorcycle, but not using straps. Check this out. In your trailer, this biker bar, this plate bolts to your floor. <clears throat> there's a plate that goes under the floor, and then there's a, two bolts that go through the floor to hold a well nut that's welded to a plate under the floor of your trailer. And then this biker bar here will bolt down using two bolts, it bolts right to the floor. So you can remove this in and out of your trailer so there's nothing in your way if you're gonna use the trailer for something other than your motorcycle. But what makes this unique is this bar clamps to your frame of your Harley Davidson touring bikes, uh, the soft tails, things like that. Any Harley Davidson bike, you can clamp this bar to it. It doesn't stay on the bike. So when you get ready to load the bike, you clamp this bar to your frame, ride up in the trailer, and then it's gonna go in these jaws and lock in. So when you go up, it's gonna pull it down, lock it in. You get off the bike, make sure you put it in travel mode. A lot of guys forget that. But no straps needed, no bungee cords, no, I mean, nothing. This is this is the way to go. Um, it's secure, it's safe, and we use them on our trailer. Uh, we have five bikes we travel with. And this is the way to go. So no, no straps at all for your motorcycle any longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it in the back of the trailer. We're going to show you how we hook it up into the trailer. So you can see how quickly it is. It's easy to blow in and out. But one of the things we wanted to say about this, I actually bought this back in 2019. And not saying that that, but we've used it a lot. You guys seen it every time we go to a rally, we're using this thing on there. But ended up one of the jaws wasn't locking down. And uh, we're like, we're getting ready to go. And I, I, I could force it to lock down, but I didn't really want to do that. So we gave a biker bar the call. And talking to them on the phone, the, the technician guy that they had there, the, he ended up overnighting me the part on the side to fix it. So I couldn't believe how well they guarantee their product. So let's go take a look at installing it. And uh, we'll come back after that. What we did for our biker bar, we put a piece of steel plate on the bottom so we didn't have to drill any holes through the bottom of the floor because we have airline track on our floor so that way we've got it to where it's bolted to the floor and then see how it's bolted no so now we're going to put the biker bar on if you notice the rubbers that are on here they came off after a while uh, one of them actually is on pretty good but the other one's not i end up just putting some black tape on it to kind of hold it in place all that does is just stop from scratching the bike it's black underneath not the end of the world uh you can put it anywhere on the frame you just got to watch the wires we slide it all the way towards the back of the bike that way it gives us in the, it'll get in far enough i don't have to worry about the back of the box hitting when we close the door so let's go ahead and put it on and the kick It has an aluminum trailer, wood floor, anything like that. So check out our website, and we'll be more than glad to help you out. You know, so that's pretty exciting. You know, Shane has a lot of good information there. You can also go to his website, which is rickrack.com. He's got a bunch of more other videos uh, you can check out, and if you don't understand anything that we might have explained today. But what the whole idea of this bar is, is you don't have any more straps you put on your bike. Nothing. And uh stays pretty pretty set, doesn't it? Yeah, for the most part. Only that one time. But... Yep. And I uh, ended up being that the, the one bracket on the one side wasn't locking down. But I mean, how many times have we put the bike in there before that happened? A lot. <laughs> Could be a, as much as 100 times. I have no idea. We pick it in and out a lot. So it snaps in there. And now I've figured out how to make sure I check that it dis, does lock in and uh, make sure it locks down. And if you get a biker bar and you want to know, you can let us know. and be happy to tell you how we make sure it's locked in. Uh, so, hey, I hope you guys got what you needed to have out of this video. Rick Rack does keep them in stock and they have a pretty good price. Uh, you know, we've had this thing since 2018. Thank so, you. 
19. So we've had it for quite a while and uh, it's worked really good and uh, we actually put it, you know, if you watched any of our other videos, uh, that's what got this one going because we had a lot of people watch us when we left to come on this trip. They seen us put the motorcycle and the golf cart in here and they're like, hey, tell us a little bit about that biker bar. So we're going to tell you. If I had to buy another one, I would buy it in a heartbeat. No hesitation. It's been the best thing. They've got the great warranty, like I talked about before. You know, the warranty, you can't get any better than that. They sent it to us overnight delivery to where I had it because, you know, I could have pried it and forced it to lock in, but it would have been a pain in the butt. But I thought, you know, hey, call that guy and they See were what happens. They were overly helpful to me. So, yeah, you know, customer service is excellent. Yep, so B&W is a great place, and uh, so yeah, Rick Rack can take care of you if you want to get one from them, and uh, you know, we're not getting paid by this, uh, we just like Shane over there, he's really good at explaining stuff to you too, and uh, he had it there in stock, and uh, so that's why we went to Shane. So I wonder if they'd make one for a golf cart, a golf cart bar. Mm, be nice. Yeah, it would. <laughs> so thanks for coming along today, hope you enjoyed the video and got a lot of information out of it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, share us with your family and friends, think about Patreon, give us a big thumbs up, ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. And one more thing, if you ever get over to Burt's Barracuda out there in Clearwater and you go over to the OCC Choppers restaurant next door, every one of their bikes that are on display is held up straight by a biker bar. How about that? Just something to think about. See you on the next video. Bye.